Okay, Dimitri is webcam today. Um, I think I am recording. Yes, I am. And I am also going to share my screen here. Okay, share. Okay, uh, we are ready to go. Um, welcome everyone to the uh, first um, MicroProfile Live Hangout of 2021, January 5th. And um, if you uh, are a meeting, a link to the meeting minutes are in the chat. It is everyone's shared responsibility to take notes. So click on that link and add yourself as a contributor and help take notes, please. And um, let's see. The uh, I, I I did add some agenda items. Um, Edwin's got some agenda items. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, um, this meeting is being recorded as is the chat. So both will be uploaded to YouTube. There we go. Um, John, before however, we, hold on, sorry to interject here. Um, have we remind, a reminder to you, to you to change the agenda minutes and the calls? We only have the calls for this one and then the rest we need to make them until the 15th or whatever Tuesday is the middle of December and have that adjusted because we always create a schedule for the year in general. You mean every other week? Yeah, every other week we keep it as it is. Yeah. But let's do that. And I, I was going to do it yesterday, but then I remember also about the minutes. So if, if, you know, if you can help on that one, that would be amazing, FYI. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do that. If, if you could add an AI for me in the notes, that would be awesome. I will. I'll, I'll be happy to do that. I've got a lot of things, a lot of AI is going to take out of this call. Um, yes, I, I would do There's some things it. that we need to do. Mm -hmm. But before Perfect. we do that, I would like to ask, are there any announcements that anybody would like to make? What sort of, of announcements? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking. Announcements. I, I have one. <laughs> Um, let's I, see, Rudy, I think, piped up first. So, Rudy, uh, go for it. Whatever. Um, just to let everyone know that Payara joined the MicroProfile working group as of the 1st of January of this year. That is wonderful. Woohoo. Congratulations. Yay. I actually, let me say something. I, uh, Sharon, I actually saw the 2021 members, but Payara is listed there on a different date. I'm not sure if that is the signature. But uh, definitely, it needs to match the maybe the contract. I'm not sure how that works. Congratulations, Rudy! Yeah, I was going to say, stamp okay. collecting aside, that's really great news. Oh, awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> stamp collecting. All right, next. Yeah. Uh, uh, any Irrelevant. other announcements? <laughs> Sharon, go ahead. Oh. I think Ed. Who me? Oh, sorry. Um, so Oracle has the same announcement. We uh, are now members of MicroProfile. Finally. Yay. Yay. Wow. Yay. Awesome. Long time coming. Welcome aboard. I mean, you know, it's great been having been great having you on these calls anyway, but it's super awesome to have you officially in the working group. Yes. Awesome. If we're talking about announcements, I don't see uh, um, Garden Jog here, but I they already used Twitter on the, in December to say that they have sent their they have signed their agreements and they became micro providers formally in december not january december and they are going to work on writing a, a blog and do these things but they are not here i can't speak for them but they did use the twitter so we have three, two, three new members but yeah, it's it's not done completely on our side yet so we just ask for um just for ask for a pause on that one, and I'll update um, the sheet accordingly as soon as it uh, it's fully executed. Perfect. That's awesome. Well, so that's awesome. wonderful news, and you know, uh, welcome everybody. And you know, I mean, like I feel weird welcoming Pyar because they are a founder of Micro Profile, so it's sort of like, um, you know, thank you, or uh, you know, th they're they're a founder, so you know, I'm glad that's official. Yep. Okay. Thanks. And one thing I think we'll need to talk about, we, we, we have a decent agenda. I, I don't know if we're going to get to it today, but um, you know, some questions about that maybe we should discuss in the Google group, I don't know, um, around is there any kind of, you know, what kind of marketing do we want to do around this? Do we want to have like a PR blog and, and um, um, maybe 
Pyara and Oracle may do their individual PRs and maybe we align them. You know, let, let's kind of discuss all of that in yeah. um, the Google group. Um, just because I, I just don't know if we're going to, uh, just because this agenda, I was, I was thinking about it. And I just think we have a pretty full agenda. Yeah. And in we, my we recommendation, do a press know, release of some sort. You not know, press what, release, we do announcements. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, should, we should wait till the Garden State has yeah. finished their paperwork. And then we should um, uh, do something that says, you know, welcome, uh, you know, Pyara, Oracle, and Garden State Jug. And, you know, maybe get some quotes from them and, yep. you know, do it right. And, and sorry, I'm going to interrupt just just because I, I, I know we have a lot of things on the list. Um, well, that was your idea, so okay. Well, <laughs> you want to well, wrap that's why up I said, agenda topic quickly. Well, that's why I said, I, I you know, let's let's bring it up in the Google group. Um, just because um, I'd like to do some prep work for the steering committee call next week, right? Okay. And, and figure out what, what needs to be done. And I just don't know how long that's going to take, to be honest. Um, so next week is uh, the steering committee call. Um, so the um, on the agenda for that, you know, it's just a quick review of what was done. Um, you know, the votes and you know summary of all the votes that were um, done um, since the last call. And one thing I did add that's very recent is. We have the CN for J Alliance resolution vote, um, and and that passed. So I'm literally, <laughs> it's almost done. I've got this email drafted where I'm going to um, send out basically an email to the working group, um, the Jakarta working group, the micro profile working group, saying, "Hey, let's um, let's discuss the CN for for J Alliance and in uh, in the CN for." Uh, uh, Let's see, CN for J Dash Alliance, I think. Um, mailing list, right? So I'm going to be sending it out shortly. Um, now, for other topics um, for next week, some things that we need to have done are a program plan, um, a budget, probably, you know, drafts. I'm guessing drafts for both because I don't think we're going to get them completely done um, by, by next week. But a program plan draft, a budget draft. Um, we're going to need to discuss um, a release plan um, that will roll up into the pro overall program plan. So, what are our plans at the spec, you know, individual component spec level, but also for market profile four, right? Because as part of the um, specification, all right, life cycle, we have to have a release plan. So, um, what ties into all of this is I got an email, and I think we discussed this last call um, or one of the previous calls. I got an email from someone saying, how do I track all this stuff, right? And we don't really have a go-to place for people to track, you know, what are the plans? What's the status according to those plans? So this is something I'd really like to get worked out. And I'll, I'll, I'll start hacking away at this this week. And of course, everyone can, you know, join in. Um, I'll just get a, like a, an outline um, put out there and we can discuss it this week. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think these are topics I'd like to prepare for next week. Is, is there anyone that would kind of like to jointly work on the program plan with me? Are there any, any volunteers? And so each one of these are going to have some volunteers, by the way. Yeah. So um, let me go in here, John, and thank you so much for yeah. taking care of and taking the lead on the agenda for next week. So that we're not doing it there. Um, the, the program plan has to do with how we invest Q1, Q2, Q3, and adjust super quickly. We're talking about budget, about uh, focusing on things that matter, um, that we think they matter, but that will be adjusted as we do stuff and as we get feedback from users and the community. The budget has been a, a work in progress and needs review. And I think my recommendation is to send to start different threads. And it's not about having volunteers because we have been working, I have been working on the two items with you and a few others uh, like, like Jelastic and um, I can't even remember anymore, it has been too long. But I believe that we should divide and conquer the, the, in the forums and make it so that everyone can help on the adjustments of those things. Uh, what I do not wanna see is to be a one person's task. If we, do that in the community forum, 
and we say everyone is welcome to add comments here or you know we can ha we can change the document i have it right now public access edit everyone can add stuff but we may be restricted and we do the same thing we did for the charter so that feedback is incoming yep. it's fluid that is what yep. i would like to see because i have been really involved on in this but it's not our project it's the microprofile community project and nothing that is there should stay in there if it doesn't go with the majority no, no i agree so so what i'm i guess asking for are, are there um uh, is there anyone that's kind of jointly interested on this call right now that is interested in kind of crafting the the program plan for uh, for this year well what yes me yeah is that edwin that was yes edwin. go ahead edwin you speak first okay yeah uh, i just want to say i want to help with that because i'm kind of always already looking for a product plan or program plan for micro profile how to and what to do in the future mm -hmm. like a roadmap so yeah. i would definitely uh, like to help out there do we do we want to um you know we're making all this tech for the for the users and community and so therefore do we want to like put together some sort of word doc or some place where we can kind of like solicit feedback on what it is that we should be looking at even if it's technical or whatever just to get you know you know what where should micro profile go this year there's a tweet there's a there's a picture on the tweet there's a word doc there's a maybe like bullets where you can put your name and then you can say your thoughts and then the next person can put their thoughts and on on their bullet and would people just fill it up free form. We did something like this on the Jakarta side when we had the community voices thing that I organized where, it's, where it was sort of like, what do you want out of Jakarta? You know, where do you think it should go technically? And, and people just sort of filled in some stuff. We got a lot more participation than we thought. Um, but it might, it, it might be an opportunity to like, you know, make a community led program plan. Yeah. I, also I think create that Right. I think is um we could use a micro profile working group for GitHub issue. So basically people can voice their opinions and etc. And uh, uh, one thing is uh, I'm not sure like uh, the like uh, program plan, what's in scope and also releases the plan and everything. Then, yeah. So it's everything. basically the scope. Basically, the, there's a, some uh, overlap. So basically, what kind of things we want to uh, define by program plan, and what kind of things we want to define in the release plan. Uh, I think so, it's, um, it's just like a collect some thought and can kind of draw up a plan. Yeah. So, so I have a question for for Paul and Sharon. What's the forcing function here? So. Do we have, you know, like a 30, 60 day window? I mean, technically we want to enter the year with a program plan, right? Knowing what we're doing. Um, but we were just so focused on getting four out the door that that kind of, you know, obviously didn't happen. So what, what, what's the forcing function here? Yeah, I think the thing, some considerations. One is the, um, is the program plan, you know, drives your, uh, your budget as well. So, you know, what the budget gets applied to gets called out in the program plan. Um, you know, having a program plan is in place sooner rather than later is desirable. If you need to get it done by next week, no. By the end of the month, probably a good idea, early February. But because you, you, you don't want to get, you know, too far into the year. Yep. You've got uh, full membership complement now. So the, you know, the budget will is, uh, is you know, it's com will come together nicely. So you, you want to uh, um, use the program plan to, uh, you know, identify what the priorities are and, and connect the dots there. Um, but, and, and if it would be helpful and some of you have participated in other working groups where there's been a, a program plan and a budget process, if having some artifacts from other working groups or templates that we've got would be helpful, we're happy to uh, make them available. It's, uh, it's totally up to you. That's wonderful, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Um, I my question on this is, I really like David's idea of having it to be 
templates, but also community oriented. Um, if we say we start today, that would be middle of February, 30 day notice. And I believe that we should just choose a date and shoot for it. So yeah, that, that makes sense to me. And, and the, the template is really just uh, instead of starting with a blank page or something, you've got something that uh, that others have used, whether or not it, it's, you know, it works, you know, you can decide. Yeah. So John, let's do it February 15th. That would be a month. And this week is the first week of the year, so it doesn't count. Really, we're here only because we love it and we want to do the best that we can by next week on the student call. But it's February 15th. Does it sound good for everyone? What in what kind of format do we want to collaborate? Do we want to cre create uh, like a Google Google Doc and then everyone yes. can uh, yes. like yeah. uh, join in? I think uh, in that case we collectively work together yeah. for the yeah. program plan. John, yeah. you want to click on the link that I just shared once you take the notes of the date? Yeah, sorry. I was, yeah, I was going to take uh, one more here. Um, so this is also GDoc uh, slides, probably. All right, uh, let me pull up chat. We do, we do not, like a slides come later. Let's do the document and then we change it because the slides we're not allowed for creativity and brainstorming, but Google Doc do and we can convert it to a slide. Yeah, we can, we can collect feedback and slowly formalize it. Yeah, later. So uh, yeah. I have a question. Sure. Hi all. Uh, so, uh, are we uh, gathering feedback on new features features for the ex uh, existing APIs? No, or that is are, oh. no, no. It, it, or it's, it's go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> or are we uh, gathering feedback for tendencies in micro in the microservice ecosystem so we can decide to create new specs, for example? Uh, those things. Definitely, but also, you know, bigger things like what do we do with our budget, right? Do we, do we want to have specific marketing initiatives? Do we, uh, you know, do we want to make programs to uh, reward contributors? Do we want to uh, sponsor events? You know, it's, it's like really the whole picture. Mm -hmm. My, you know, the micro profile okay. champions is going to be here a uh, huge, most of the money. That, that's not decided. So that's no. something people can, can chime in on. I think that's a good idea. It's basically, you know, we're, we're a project. We have all sorts of things that we do from marketing to technical work, to community outreach, um, to trying to get developers to know and understand how to use the technology. We have a budget that can fuel these things what's the vision yeah uh, there's also uh um, the custom branding and compatibility program that has been discussed and putting that in place oh yes yeah. i so, think I... So, so that's the high level does that make more but... sense bruno uh yes it does yes it does but uh i think in relation to the the, the feedback from the community I think people will be more interesting on the features themselves than in the management side of things. That's okay. Um, yeah. That's okay. Right. I think when we created this uh, Google Doc, and um, I mean, to start with, at least uh, we have a kind of bullet point, like a, like a, uh, like a technical goals, a number of release, and then, then people can comment in that, can, can add things. Uh, in that uh, kind of category. Yeah. So David, do you want to? Yeah. Um, uh, you know? We'll put paste the link in the minutes and then uh, maybe pull it up on screen. Chat. Sorry here. Oh, oh you you already did it in the chat, right? So it's. Yeah. yeah. We got it on both. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. So basically. Um, we just put together a document that said, you know, we want to hear from everybody because this is an open source initiative. Here are the ways that your feedback can be used, right? In this situation, it was, you know, if you want your perspective uh, reflected in the keynotes or talks for the conference, 
let's hear from you, right? So let's try to, when we get it together in panels and we talk about what the community wants, your voice is reflected. That was really what this was. It was, you know, it was right before Java one or code one and EclipseCon, And we're like, okay, you know, we're going to get together at these conferences and all give, all give talk. Let's make sure we're not just disconnected from the community. Right. Um, and so there were some examples of what people could do. Uh, and then if you scroll down, yeah, there was deadlines and when you had to get the, the feedback in um, to make specific things, you know, so yeah, obviously we'll have to have similar deadlines. Uh, a clear statement that everything you say is under the Eclipse license. We had some guiding questions on do these things are, are, are is, is this thing interesting to you? And then people could give their, their thoughts. So we might do the same format. Do you have any ideas around marketing or developer outreach that we could do in 2021? Um, and then people just kind of filled it out, right? So this is like a big kind of an open form questionnaire and everyone could read everybody else's answers, which I think was very important. Um, scroll down more. The, we had another question. There you go. Do you think modularity is important? You know, and everyone gave those answers. And basically, we just sort of guided people. It wasn't just an open-ended doc. Give us your thoughts, right? It was. It did have some structure on there. So we would probably want to do a similar thing. Would be like kind of carve out the areas of responsibility we have and what we need to put in a plan, right? And then make those kind of questions and ask people. And if we had any curiosities ourselves, we could put that in there, you know? So it might be the kind of thing where we say, you know, um, we have a maybe a question around marketing or developer outreach. Maybe we have a question on how can we make micro profile a better place for people to contribute? Maybe that's a question. Um, maybe we have a question on what can we do technically to better suit your needs over the 2021 so people can give us the ideas of, I would like you to make a spec for this or this is a difficult thing. Uh, so those are just three questions off the top of my head, I, I, you know, along yeah. those lines. So I don't know if people, we probably wanna like get quickly a list of questions out and then we can put this format together we can tweet it we can make the doc open we can publicize it we can aggressively gather feedback and see what we get mm -hmm. yeah the other obvious question what can we uh, what shall we do with the standalone releases so basically we need to work out the the plan i think uh, i think uh, i like this kind of reform uh, i like this kind of question questions so based on the answers and then we can work out a plan yeah, yeah part of that i was thinking survey. Is, oops go ahead i, I was say i was thinking about the survey but this might be even better yeah it's not know, really survey, survey, like multiple choice it's like pick from these things no. and you get percentages back but yeah. it's not really like you know service exactly me, it's better service to me are lazy and the level of you we are asking for they're not lazy. They're just, they're targeted for different things. Yes, but I'm talking about when we're talking about creativity and innovation, we want ideas that are shared, not hidden. And we want everyone to be able to highlight what they think is important. Everyone matters. Sometimes we underestimate the power of our actions just by showing up. It's not enough. Talking is not enough. Doing is enough. All of it together is enough. So I think this is fantastic. And I think we have a very good year ahead, even though we're going to be at home. This is fun. Who is going to, let's, let's move, let's stop here and say, we need maybe five volunteers to own that document. I volunteer myself. I think that you could do it too. Well, well I don't yeah. want to do it like that. Um, I think we just need questions first. Yeah, that is what we I mean. Who would write a question? On the, the questions that we want to ask people. Uh, yeah. and I'm, putting together the documents easy. Right. I'm happy to, uh, do some questions. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I have questions. Yeah, I've got yeah. some big ones in mind. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. So let's 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 make a doc for the questions and just get those on there. And then by by next Tuesday, we'll button down the ones that we want to put in the survey. Maybe maybe it's all of them. Yeah. And, and then 
and then we'll kick it out. We'll we'll yep. we'll, put, we'll push it out through our channels. That's yeah. perfect. I think is uh, this is good because uh, it's more like a community different uh, program plan, it's not uh, kind of <laughs> a few few of yeah, us. Around, go right. ahead. Oh, we we are going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. So. so um, what what about using the new feature for from GitHub about discussions? It's not uh, something interesting to add to those things. Emerson, you're talking about submitting issues for things that we would like to see, like features. That is for later. Once we have the program, we, we can less. No, there, there, there is a, a new feature in GitHub called discussions, and I'm talking about using that feature for setting this conversation. Do you want to share a screen and show us? Yeah, show us. I, 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 I haven't seen it. Two weeks vacation. Uh, okay. You have to do it right this second. I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you happen to have a reference, reference you, we can look at that. If you talk, you are sent into the past. Well, well, here's the thing. Um, with these processes that we've got to follow, right? They have the key on the microprofile specification process. And uh, if someone can mute, um, with the microprofile specification process, right? We have this long kind of Things are drawn out longer, I'll put it that way, because there's more formality involved. And that means I think one of the things I would like to get done sooner is going to be the release plan for the component specs. Um, the platform specs is going to be a, a longer discussion, but for component specs to, um, was, was that Emerson? Sorry, I didn't see who was um, lo lo looking up the doc, but we do need to, I think, start the conversation at the spec level as to what features each spec wants so they can create a release plan for what they want to see. Um, I'm guessing in, in, in June, right? So we, we can have that conversation a little bit after this, um, but go ahead, or is it Rudy? Anyway, uh, go ahead. John, you know what I want to know, what we want to do? Thus far, we have had three releases aside from last year that it was two. The question is, are we going to keep three releases or are we going to come down to two? I'll, I'll tell you what, I want, personally, I'd like to keep, see if we can make a run at three right. um, and, and see if it's possible, but that's where the program plan comes in, right? And a release schedule that the community wants to see as well. And so mm -hmm. I, I think one of the things I'm going to do is, it, I've already taken shots at it, right? Um, in, in a spreadsheet somewhere um, and, and we can, talk about it. Right now, I, I think, pragmatically speaking, if we keep to our current release cycle, our next shot is June. And hopefully by then we'll have the, you know, the micro profile platform stuff already so we can vote at the platform level and all of that as well. Anyway, sorry, um, did someone need to share the screen? Emerson, but maybe he's not ready. Emerson? Yeah, I, I, I can, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes, I'm ready right now. Okay. Looking. Let me know and you can see, please. Yep. Okay, so in this, in the same level of the code issues, uh, pull requests, options, they introduce a new feature that is called discussions. This is a repo from the GitHub docs and you have something like this. It's, it's like a community forum and is the way to conduct different categories of discussions. This has been in beta last, the last year, I think. And finally, it's available in, for all repos. So I think the only thing we need is just enable this feature in MicroProfile Eclipse GitHub repository, and we can start a conversation there, basically. But yeah, do, you want, do you want to show us what the discussion is? Does it allow everyone to update, or is it just email kind of thing? No, it's a forum. It's, it's like the typical old fashioned community forum that you can open a topic and start talking about any particular subject like this one. This is the welcome to the GitHub doc discussions and people start talking. It's the same structure or similar to the one we have in the issues, but you can conduct tracks like yeah. an email list, 
stuff like that. So yeah, I tell I, you what. I mean, I think it would be interesting for for what we were discussing before. Yeah. Well. So it, it is. It the, the 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 tricky thing about collecting feedback from people um, is, you know, so. I, I, I'm the one who, who who put together that 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 doc, and then I wrote an article summarizing everybody's thoughts, and that was a lot of work putting all those thoughts together into one article, um, and I would never have been able to get it accomplished at all if I didn't have a clean, simple paragraph with no formatting, in you know what I mean, just and just to try to sew them all together. If I had to summarize a conversation between two different people in thread format, discussing back and forth, and a bunch of different people like that, I think it would be very, very difficult. Um, so it, it is useful for them to not be so freeform and kind of try to summarize their own thought into one little capsule and not have it be two people replying to each other in long succession. Um, yeah, and, and for me, this is the same as a mailing list. So then we have a duplication. We have the mailing list, and then we have this GitHub discussion, and then we have two places, and people do not know anymore where they should go for any kind of uh, question, discussion, or announcements. So, Plus, this mailing list requires a GitHub account. I don't know if that's a barrier, but it's, that is it's... a barrier. I was going to say that is a barrier for most users that will never go into create an account in Git. When they well, want I, to I think most yeah. of our audience has GitHub accounts, but yeah, but um, like, you but, know, Emerson, I think it's a good great. suggestion. I think it, I didn't know that this thing even existed. I yeah. appreciate that you we can use it for it. other things, we can use it for other things that require us to leave and get, which is as a tool. Well, it's it's something to consider. Um, it may be better than, than groups, but uh, anyway. What are, you th what are your thoughts, Emerson, based upon the concept of having to summarize it all up and the effort involved in that? I haven't used that much, but I think it's a way to promote, to promote uh, community participation and create community. Yeah. Where I think it, could, it can come in really handy is discussion of features, right, that they want to have in a spec. Right, I don't like um, the the Google Group tends to cover things that are more broad that affect all the specs and stuff like that. Right, and the working group or the project or community as a whole. Most of the discussions I see for individual component specs tend to happen either in Gitter or somewhere else. Right, so this or, or directly in you know feature um, in GitHub issues. Right. This might be a way to augment GitHub issues, right? That is easier to follow and read for some people. Um, so that's an idea. Maybe we have each spec have its own discussions thing. Uh, actually, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, this. Uh, I quite like this discussion thing. I think it's uh, good for the com component to level the what are we going to do next. Yeah, uh, I know in the in the Gitter, like uh, we do a free chat, and then they uh, uh, suddenly uh, we lost the contact. I think uh, I think we could uh, use this for the uh, draw up the plan, for release the plan for the um, component level, what feature we want to target, and also what problem if we want to discuss a problem, and then that's quite nice um, kind of. Uh, conversation platform. We tried yeah. uh, the, uh, like in micro profile config, we tried uh, to create a sub mailing list. Uh, uh, however, it's with, uh, yeah, eventually we did not continue. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. I think maybe this yeah. discussion is something is, uh, is uh, lightweight and easy to do. I was thinking the same thing. This mailing list should or could be replaced with this GitHub uh, thingy. Because then the discussions will happen on the place where they are most relevant inside right. the spec where they are for. Yeah. So I, yeah. not necessarily that it will replace everything, but I think we're onto something there. Just 
putting discussions on the place where they belong. I, I think it's very nice. Yeah. So, yeah. so in that case, we need to get the Eclipse Foundation give us uh, kind of the the uh, access right to bring that, enable that. So I think Kevin, you were going to say something. Well, I, I was just going to agree um, with, with the sentiment of bringing the conversations closer to the components, because you know we've talked about that even with our Google group. Yep. That sometimes it's very hard to figure out which conversations you wanted to participate in because there's so many different topics. And if we can pull those type of discussions, you know, let's say for config, closer to the config component, then you can have your detailed config discussion there um, and then still have the, you know, higher level microprofile stuff out in our Google group or our, our mailing list. Mm -hmm. I think we yeah. Should, yeah, I think I agree. I agree. So like maybe the line is sort of like you want to discuss technical details, you know, like this method call should have this method signature and here's my argument for why. Do that in the discussion thing on the specification. But when we're trying to coordinate, like here's the release that we want to hit, um, you know, who's working on the TCK or whatever, Maybe we can still have that on the, the Google group to just because that's when we really need to coordinate between ourselves. It's like, an, maybe that's a, an understandable line. I don't know. Does, does that make sense to? I think it's a pretty clear line. Yeah, it does make sense to me. Ex especially I want to uh, govern that more during the year, uh, create the milestones and yeah, kind of have everything in an overview of back together right. uh, to, so, to have a better understanding. Using GitHub, now we have it. What what ties into this um, is how, and this is a question for the steering committee next week, because I'm probably going to bring it up in one form or another, is how much consistency do we want to enforce at the steering committee level on projects? So. Should every project, should we have a common template for re a release plan? Should we have, should everybody use discussions? So when users, you know, users want to see what's going on, they always know where to go, right? This is going to be a discussion and we don't necessarily have to answer it now, right? Uh, you know, for, for next week, but it is a discussion to have. It's it is not necessarily be... a steering committee discussion. It's just a community discussion, right? So, yes. so you know, uh, let's be careful not to inflate the role of the steering committee over the course of the year and, and just try to keep it to the minimal mm -hmm. definition and everything as a community activity as much as possible. So you nailed it. You know, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know, uh, we'll have some official business to take care of on the next call, but other than that, how we conduct ourselves and the consistency between the projects is just a community discussion. In so I, I'm going to ask that question then what is the official business um on that call next week so we're you know besides reviewing what we've done and and all kind of you know agreeing to the status um what is it that we want to accomplish next week at the steering committee meeting i know what we don't want to accomplish we don't want to dictate the fun well, it's, and the what innovation. We don't. it's what we do want to accomplish so don't we have like a list somewhere of things that we were working through to get to work group bootstrapped and we're only halfway through it if i understand so we still have the committer vote to uh the the committer representative to take care of we got a logo for compatibility to look think about so we just need to we need to double check to see where we're at mm -hmm. and also edwin congratulations we started the year and we didn't congratulation via this channel you are the 2021 rep for the for the commuters welcome because i think next week is going to be your first day sitting and owning that seat and protecting that seat so um totally that, that's also one of the discussion points is that we had <laughs> talked about um having the committer rep vote on the behalf on behalf of the community and so we should maybe talk about how we're going to work that into our voting process right Mm -hmm. Yes, the voting process. Maybe we give the community like, you know, 
uh, two weeks minus three days so that you have at least three days to tally up the votes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Edwin, something I like that. We, we, we can bring that up again. Uh, yeah. Next I Thursday. already sent an email saying congratulations and then said you will set us, help set up the pilot, the process for this for future generations. So yeah. welcome to the world of doers and the level of formalizing processes. Can't wait. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so David, this, this, this was exactly the question that's also on my mind uh, that I wanted to discuss now or next week. So yeah, getting into the role, act, actually taking the role, not just only participating, of course. So yeah, yeah. How, how not, to do not that. Just, not just occupying a chair. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And Edwin, so yeah. in this regard, um, do we have the formally identified primary and alternates for Oracle and Pyara? Not Okay, go ahead. They can talk. Yes, we do. Um, <laughs> they can speak for themselves, but yes, yes. Um, I reached out today to gain that information and I'm updating the spreadsheet accordingly. Um, we're still waiting on one piece of alternate info to come back for Pyera. Okay. And for Oracle, it's going to be me and Dimitri. So, Ed and Rudy, why haven't, what question for you? Why haven't you sent a note to the community forum stating that each one of you is now a form, formal member of the working group? Um, because I don't, because we decided that like 10 minutes ago. And, uh, yeah, and, I, and I, I asked John, what should we do? <laughs> okay, so, and that's that, that's that's one of the reasons why I asked the question at the very start of the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was not your Okay. The, 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 um, the, pro, the appropriate phrasing what? for that really should be, "Can you please?" Rather than, "Why haven't you?" Just <laughs> FYI. Well, so, so, so I was one. I, I guess I was wondering if the committee wanted to send a welcome no, to for we don't everybody. speak for you. No, no, never. We can. So, no, no, we can. Ed, Ed. This is what happens. We can do when a welcome to. Listen to this. When Jolastic became a member, my feedback to Ruslan and Tatiana was, you send it, you speak for yourself to the community. And this goes for everything. There is a document that is the onboarding document for new members that I started working on Agros. I haven't seen it since then because we got sidetracked. I am going to dust it this week and send it so that everyone helps. Those of you onboarding are the best ones to provide feedback because I need to go into the wiki on the microprofile repo for development. So anyway, please send a note once you know who is going to do what and whatever, and don't wait or expect others to do the work for you. Like Sharon says, you need to speak up. Happy to. Either way, welcome aboard. Yeah, yeah. I know, super, super cool. So, so um, Rudy, yeah. do you know uh, uh, who the, uh, do you feel comfortable stating who the primary is? Um, I'm the primary. Okay. It's Rudy. <laughs> yeah. It is awesome. Okay. Rudy. Awesome. Rudy. Sorry. Yes. We're rooting for Rudy. Well deserved. <laughs> and they'll let us know who the alternate is um, when they have that information available. Okay. So, you know, um, community voting, Ed, uh, like Edwin, we, we talk about it. Rudy did a really, really good job. I am going to add the link of that document he created mm -hmm. so that you can help us choose whatever you think we can use for you gathering and enabling yourself to yeah. vote on behalf of the community. That means whatever tool. Right. We yes. will do that. Thanks. I will add it and I will add you to that. All right. So one thing I do want to uh, briefly bring up um, that Ed also kind of asked, and I'd like to cap this to two minutes because I'd like to get the micro profile 4.0 work that was done. Um, so onboarding new developers, right? So now that we, you know, have more, you know, um, new members, right? And the community is growing. Amelia, I, I know you've done a lot of work around onboarding um, new members. So can you, I mean, I'm going to cap this entire discussion to like two minutes. Um, are there links that you could point people to? And then we could also discuss what we can do to improve that, right? But go ahead. Are you asking me? Yeah, that yes. I mean, like, you talk all the time anyway. So the one time we tee you up, you're silent. Sorry. Sorry, it's so loud. I can't even handle it. It's construction. I couldn't hear you. Um, for the onboarding, yes, we have the the the, the how-to. Uh, and we should start doing that more often. 
everything is ready to go. I think link. Emerson should link. be next. That was the question, link. Is there a link? Yeah, there is a link and I will add that into the minutes. And we have a wiki. Awesome. And I will add that and I will add what really worked for the volunteers, the community voting. I have added just the budget. There are a bunch of things that I need to add in here that are all ready to go. Okay. I will do that. We already have and, one and for, for Ed. For budget, but if you want to. Yeah, and, and for Ed and, and Rudy and anyone watching the recording, um, provide us feedback on that onboarding doc. What's missing? What you yeah. know? What's what, what what's gone well? So we can continually make improvements on it. Yeah. Yes. I hope our onboarding information has the whole um, step zero: how to initiate a project. Kind no, not yet. That we we that one's critical because we kind of have that whole sandbox idea where you can just put mm -hmm. anything on any idea and just work on it. I haven't seen it since August, so I'm going to dust it and deliver it by Friday so that everyone can go and start adding stuff. Because and, last and time I saw it was We should probably get into our wiki if we don't have it there already. Yeah. No, we don't have it there, and it's uh, it, ideally let me re let me refresh it with the things that we have, and then it will be in the wiki. Do we want to use? You know, I have a question. The repo. Okay, two minutes are up. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry. The microprofile repo it's... needs to be adjusted. We created a repo for the microprofile working group, and that is a mess. So that has nothing to do with this topic. So you're yeah. just going into right. other topics. Anyway, All right, so, I, I will ask those comments. Yeah, I'm going to switch to microprofile 4.0. Rumor has it microprofile 4.0 was released. Um, in the, the week before Christmas, and rumor has it there were some heroic efforts by some individuals like Edwin, Martin, uh, Emily, uh, Tatiana. Um, so uh, a lot of individual efforts were done, you know, that particular week. Obviously, it's a much broader community effort to get 4 out the door, right? But I just wanted to make those, you know, points out because, um, you know, a lot of people were on PTO and, and some folks um, included, right? They were doing that work. So um, that let us get MicroProfile 4.0 out the door in calendar year 2020. So there are there, some good things did happen in 2020. All right. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has comments on that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone who worked through PTO to get this out. We have templates for everything. And it, on my side, I was super proud that you didn't interrupt the announcement plug and that it was technical and busy and important, that it was not a slack, uh, a slacky announcement. It was so heartfelt. Thank you, because there is a process and you followed it and nailed it. John, John is also great uh, drive, drive force as well. Uh, that was in the background. You guys did all the heavy lifting. Yes, no, 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 no. But, but yeah, thank you, Emily, for that. <laughs> by the because I know when you're sitting in John's seat and you're issuing the thank yous out, you rarely get one back. So thank you, John, for doing the the, no the cat herding for us uh, on these calls time and time again, week after week, all year. So that is just really fantastic. And uh, thank you exactly. so much. Yep, yeah, no problem. Um, so Edwin. Can you create a doc, um, a separate Google doc on things we learned uh, in doing the MicroProfile 4 release and, and maybe how we could feed what we learned back into processes and stuff like that? You, you have it down as an action item. And I just don't know if we're, you know, we can really have that discussion today. But if you can create a, um, a Google doc or, um, or uh, a Google group thread um, to discuss that, that would be awesome. Um, we should be using what Emerson introduced today, the discussion. We need to make, um, uh, we need to uh, make it available first. <laughs> let's it's use not, that. We, we need to work out with the uh, Eclipse Foundation uh, to have that accessible to us. At the moment, it doesn't uh, visible. It's not visible to us. What is this? The discussion. What Emerson just showed, right? The discussion functionality, not 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 a discussion that we can't see. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, true. yeah. It's just yeah. subtle. I've missed it the first time. Got it the second time. Okay. Um, one last thing I wanted to bring up, and you know, if, by the way, we before just... we move on, is there an action item we want to write down in the minutes there? I think Edwin just added himself. 
okay. to, to kick it off. Right. I, yeah, can, I took the action. I, Right, I will. I will try to work with um the Eclipse Foundation to see how can we get the discussion uh that tab available to us. What do you mean? Uh, basically, make uh, the the discussion tab available on the micro profile GitHub. Oh. You, you, need to, you need to find out about Sila, I believe. Wait, Sarah, wait. do you know? And so, I'm sorry you're here and you're not supposed to be thrown out of the window like this. Uh, we're abusing you. So That's not the expression, but I, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, we're abusing you, so I'm sorry. But is this something that we found in Botsila or how do we do this? Do you know or do we just ask in the working group? No, I'd go ahead and ask in Bugzilla. Okay. Uh, you'll Emily, need, you'll you need IT for that webmaster. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, kind of a route I'm going to take anyway. I will read the Bugzilla uh, like a uh, issue, and then we'll get uh, go from there. That's well, awesome. you add the Just action to item to the meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Emily, assign it to yeah. Uh, assign okay. it to yourself. Just to yeah. clarify, is this something that's that you have to do per repo, or is it something you do on the org? The org. On the org? Per, per repository. That's what I, I thought. Per, per, repo. per repo, yeah. Okay. We need to yeah. activate it for all the repos. Yeah, so basically, I will do a micro dash uh, star. I will read the bug and then get some. Uh, yeah, well, so we have, we have admin access to our micro profile org. We do not have admin access to the repos outside of the micro profile org. We need so to transfer all those repos them, inside. Most of them are in a are an Eclipse slat on the Eclipse org, mm -hmm. and they're you know micro profile dash this micro profile dash that. Those we don't have ac admin access to. We would need to file a bugzilla. We probably need to file the bugzilla to move them into. The exactly. Program. This is what I was saying. The first As thing we had uh, on our on our meeting notes a few times last year. David, do you want to own that? Terms, task? In terms of enabling discussions on the micro profile org. Um, I, there are several of us who are uh, admins on that org, so uh, I can look to see again who is admin on that. We can balance it out as well because now we have new members. We should be giving them their primaries admin access as well. I think that's kind of the way we've always run it. Yeah. Um, so my question is, David, do you want to write? or send that Botsila back so that we transfer the repos? No, I'm, sa I'm saying if it's for a micro profile org repo, we don't need a Bugzilla bug. If it is for a repo that's a micro profile repo in the Eclipse org, we do need a Bugzilla bug and Emily can go ahead and do that. So then my question is, why are we not cleaning um, the inventory? We said last year that we would do it, but we never got around it. What are we waiting for? Well, we could file a ticket instead to move the repo. That's can we do that? possible. I would prefer that, that patching. Who wants to send that? Anyone can send. Who in here wants to send that? I can give you the link, or Emily can give you the link of the Voxilla. Who wants to? Bruno, you're here. Do I throw you under the bus? Well, em Emily was volunteering for that kind of activity. Do you want to do the, the request to have the repos moved? OK. Uh, I have. I will ask to have the repo uh, uh, moved. So basically, moved from Eclipse micro profile dash pointer dash config to the micro to the slash micro profile. Right. We don't. Right. Right. Okay. All of it. All of it needs to be moved into the main repo. All of the repo. Once, once they're there, we can we can yeah. add, we can enable discussions and whatever we want. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, 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 I will I will draft the things and okay. the things that be have one I thing I'd like to add, John. John, I have one thing I'd like to add for the steering committee. Um, something we've been working on and notifications will go out tomorrow, hopefully before end of day. Um, because of our restructuring um, and our pivot to Europe, um, our governance documents have all changed to align accordingly with that effort. And so all charters across all working groups have to be updated accordingly. There's no uh, material changes to the charters. This is just a balancing act so that everything aligns accordingly with bylaws that have been updated, et cetera. No change in fees, no change in currency, nothing like that. It's all straightforward. Um, we'll be sending out a package to 
to uh, all mailing lists, um, hopefully by end of day tomorrow with a PDF of the changes and a PDF of the clean version. And we will be asking um, steering committees to ratify those changes so we can post the updated charters before the end of the month. So this is just kind of an FYI. There'll be an email coming tomorrow, but it would be great to take the opportunity because of the 12th, uh, January 12th steering committee, if we could kind of get it all, get that official okay. business taken care of if possible. Wow, this is great. And if, yeah, and if you have a link somewhere to like what's changed, yeah, um, like a, a, an Uber diff, you will be getting a slide deck. You will be getting a PDF of the, the red line revisions and a PDF of the clean version. So everything is there. What we will then ensure on January 12th is that uh, myself and at least another executive are on the call. So if anybody has any questions that we can address them. And if you do see something that doesn't jive or you think, um, you know, we missed maybe a space or something, feel free to let us know on the mailing list so that we can clean it up and give you another set before we, right. we get, get it ratified. Cause, yeah, because a lot of us need to send it off to our legal departments. So depending uh, on, on, on how fast, you know, our turnaround time can be, we'll see if we could make the January 12th. Okay, uh, wasn't aware that that was going to have to go back through. Legal. Well, it might not, right? It just depends what the changes are. We haven't seen yeah, the changes. Right. It, it, and, and really, it's it. There, there's nothing material. It's just kind of aligning accordingly with the bylaws because they've changed. So you you have right. to have an alignment, right? If bylaws say something, then the, the charter has to match it, and, right. and vice versa. So we just took an opportunity to clean up some things that you know were missing, and and it, again, nothing material. I will do my best to get right. it out before end of day tomorrow. So if we can put it there, if it would be great if we can. Uh, make and it Sharon. There. For the charter, if you can change the solutions member to contributing members, that would be great. And actually, kudos to Eclipse EMO. Oh, that's changing, part of that's yeah. part of the change. It's already done. Great. You know, I want to say kudos to to the, to the EMO for changing solutions to contributing members. I think that is exactly who we are. Solutions seems, mm -hmm. you know, it was always an, an issue, but I see it changed immediately a few months ago and I was yep. very happy about so it. So again, that's part of making sure the charters align exactly with the membership agreements and exactly with the bylaws and all the other governance documents. So, yeah. So sorry, I didn't add this before. I just wanted to get it in before uh, the top of the hour. <laughs> Thanks for um, allowing me to do that. Okay, so um, one last item that we just don't have time for discussion for. I was hoping to get to it. Um, one of the things we realized when we were working micro profile 4.0 um, is that it looks like context propagation um, has a release. And Emily added an, um, an, an item to, uh, to, to this on the in the meeting minutes. So basically, context prop propagation delivered a 1.1 release, but there was never any vote on it by the working group or anything, right? So um, Emily, I, I haven't looked at, the, at her write-up yet, but let's have it on, in the Google group. We, we have to figure out um, quite, you know, how we want to resolve this so that it actually goes through more, a formal working group vote. Yeah, okay. okay. We'll um, bring up on the discussion. Yeah, yeah, yes, please do. Um, and, and we're beyond the top of the hour. Um, good call. I'll try and write up as much as I can to update the steering committee um, agenda and send out a note um for the uh, um steering committee meeting and uh thanks this concludes the january 5th inaugural 2021 uh micro profile life hangout call i'll see everyone in one week for the steering committee meeting same bat time same bat channel okay. so one more thing one more thing <laughs> and uh we but wait we, there's we more to, <laughs> one one sentence we need to reduce the 401 so basically a bug fix Oh, so it's a yeah. fine. So, it's four hundred one. Yeah. If it's little, yeah. just push it. Like, yeah, yeah. We don't we allow to, bugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? If it's That's little, charter. don't ask. Just yeah. execute. Yeah. It was the yeah. top of the charter. No bugs, yeah. Emily. No, it, it actually had your name specifically. <laughs> so, so everyone, I have a John. I have a lot of tasks to add in here. Suspect on links, and I think what we need to do is send these minutes to the forum. John, so that one, while updating, everyone can know exactly what went down today. Um, I think we need to get used to, my recommendation for this year is every single time we have a call to send the minutes of the call to the community forum. I would like to see us do this more often, like that those of us who are not able to join, at least have the link and be like- That's, oh, It's a good idea. My. So can I think we, it's a good idea. 
I would like to see this more often and it's my recommendation. So can you okay. own that and then I can say- Yeah, that's fine, I'll add it to my process. Excellent. Okay, everyone, we were leaving. It's five minutes late. Kisses, everyone. Right, thanks, everyone. Thank yeah, you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good one. See you later, guys. Bye.